I, I there was a fire truck that came into my uh, street because the trash can was blown up. It was completely melted down. Molten down? Melted? Molten? It's uh, it's not funny vandalism. Would you consider starting a Discord channel where grubby fans can meet to party up? Let me link it to you. It's it's been up for half a year. Let's see if the link still works. Yes, it does. Hell, it's about damn time. Tanis the Haka, that means our front line has pretty much been taken care of. Finally. They have sustained damage. Mm, I could go for support. Maybe mouth. Pretty good here. If they ban mouth, I think I also know what I'm gonna go. In fact, I hope that they ban mouth. Let's save some lives. My favorite hero. I'm here to help. If you have to do a 5 versus 5 with the worst teams possible on both sides, what would everyone be? Like, the worst team? Let's just say for one team, okay? Let's make one worst possible 5-man team. Mm, let's see. Stitches want to play. Abathur. Fight time. Nova. Zarya. Ready for duty. Abathur, Nova. I thank you. Tyrael. Oh, Grubby, vanquisher of the undead, grand master of the blade. It is I, Knight Sir Sir Tibbles. I seem to have lost my way, and I was wondering if you could help me. You see, my good man, I have just Stitches. one thing to say to you. Indeed. Thank you, good sir. Much obliged. I think Abathur, Nova, Stitches, Abathur, Nova, Stitches, Tyrael, Johanna. Three low damage warriors with situational follow up necessity that they do not get. Abathur, Nova. You don't want to give too much push power, Glaive. If you go Gaslo. And someone who can buy time, like Lily and Chen. Uh, actually, your team is pretty good. You've got a support. What are the rules? Don't we need a proper comp? I mean, I guess there are no rules. It, the rule was make the worst possible. Still better than my Hurley comps. <laughs> no way. See this? Cause I'm doing it as hard as I can. Hmm. How serious. Honey, I've scrubbed soldiers Ten better than you seconds. off my gloves. Why do we have triple warrior? Five, Why do we get Zarya? Four, three, two, one. We need a damage on the boss. We have no sustained damage. Does he at least have amateur ah. wait? I was gonna be okay with everything. Move out. Stat. I'll get uh, scouting drone. This might actually be a worse comp than the one I just mentioned. Come on, you've got life to save. Just relax. Much better. 
For action. It was worth a try, right? Right away. My wounds are mending. I will soon crush. It's getting rough. I'm pulling back. Okay, now it's time to lose the objective because there's absolutely no way that we get enough uh, damage on the boss. There is no escape for you but death, Angel. I guess we have to defend. Come on, and then Artanas attacks. Time to operate. I am here. I can't do this alone. If we never attack, then we will never win the trade. Artana's actually made it. We turned a uh, 60% immortal versus 100 into 60 60, 50 50. Now, probably they will get it. It's very close, actually. I think we got it. I think they weren't all there. Nice. Very nice. I'm gonna go top with the team. Bio shield, automated block, infused grenade. Um, I'll get bio shield, and I'll try to be very defensive. Got some damage. When she has full energy. I thank you. Maybe you just need a theme song. For example, the trio of Zaria, Tikis, and Morales all have grenades as an ability. The goal would be you can't engage until you all land a grenade on the same target at the same. That sounds time. more like a unbalanced team league fun comp or a quick match or something. Like against the bronzes. Why do you place the scanning drones near the towers? It's so that you can see over it. For Artana's flips, for dodging stitches hooks. I think Morales is a bit like Tracer actually. You can do what you're meant to do while moving. So you just do what you do, and then you move. And then you focus mostly just on your moving. I'm gonna go here, all Zaria. You are a credit to the team. Time to 
Mount Sirius. My wounds are mending. Sterilizing I am healed. Thank you, healer. Come on, we've got life to save. <laughs> I am healed. I need more mana. Barrier is on you. Go. Not mortal. Evil always fights. Optimistic you poke? Yeah, a little bit. And meanwhile, minigun. Did Jaina just put the immortal on 51? Man, one more hit and we could have halted the pro the progress of them. Whoa, look at that Jaina damage! The doctor is in. The doctor is in. Oh, better alert to trauma work. Well, that... Nice dodge. Everybody needs some healing. Excellent. Oh, it was already at 50%. It was post flip. Just relax. That's it. Keep going. We've got this. Strength returns. Thankful. So Jaina put it on 50%. That's pretty impressive. Let's see. We have all heroics. I'll take care of it. Nice. Wait, where's the music go? Music stop. Ah, it was just spooky music. I'll just use heroes music. Right away. Keep it up. Valor suits you strong. You favor me. Much you better. fought well this day, my warriors. Oh yeah? We did get to keep it late. Why no stim? Every I time I could have stimmed, instead I could have got long. stunned, S and I would have. O to my cat. Here is for Logan's breakfast. Keep it up, Grubs. Fairest sportsman I know since 2005. Less than at least three. <laughs> Thank you very much, DJ. Our pets, they make us laugh and they make us exasperated sometimes. Is Frostbolt build the best chain of build right now? I think so. I don't think I did a late stim. There was no reason we should have been up here. We didn't need stim until the fight uh, escalates. Once we were that deep, nobody actually needed stim anymore. That wasn't gonna die anyway. Artanis was 10%, the Haka burrowed. Anyway, I'm gonna go for uh, intensive care. Now. Thank the light. Thank you, healer. Time to operate. Utilize them. Oh, On yeah. your guard. Keep it up. The unending war will you. Mine's are mending. 
How did Jaina live? Ice barrier. I think. A good player, right? Oh, we got the camp. Right away. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Much better. Where's the emergency? Do you really need to ask? <laughs> Those 125 damage auto attacks. A little bit out of mana. That's all I got. We have all our heroics pretty much. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of mana really fast because intensive care requires more mana. Okay. Are we gonna trade or defend? I don't know. I think we have to defend. I'll take care of it. I am still in our cannon. And they don't seem to be able to stand against us at all. Better alert the trauma work. Here we go. Keep it up. Let's get to work. Nice. All you have killed. No time to wait. Now collect. <laughs> Patient prognosis is dead. Um, I'll get the slow uh, assistant shock. Time to operate. Come on, much got life to save. Girl. 83. Look at that slow though. I should just finish the quest. Eighty three HP, maybe if I stayed. That could have been uh, less close. Or did did they have to move because of me? Yeah, we, do we need do we need her really? Oops. Too expensive uh, intensive care. The mana wise. No time to wait. Sterilizing now. Nice. 
Nice. Does attack speed even help Zarya? Of course it does. She goes from attack speed 4 MVP. to 7. <laughs> really? I didn't think so. I think the Haka or Zarya actually. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I had 3 death medic. Show Jen talents please. I mean, how am I MVP here actually? What did it... Uh, Siege Master, Immortal Slayer, Painbringer, Silencer. I have top deaths, top heal, cool. I think it's just because it couldn't choose between Triple Warrior because they're all roughly equally good. That made no sense. 18... Oh, it's the amount of involvement in their opponent's team's deaths. I have one more than Artanas. 18 takedowns, he's got 17, 16, 12, 15. So I top in two rolls. Uh, healing and takedowns. And he's top in this, but not top in this. And then he's top siege, but not in everything else. Jaina top hero damage, but not in everything else. Oh yeah, top hero damage, fewest deaths, but it's shared. That's why. Because I have two categories and I'm the only support. But that doesn't make sense, because I wasn't. Anyway, it's just a mechanism. We can choose our own. So, uh, just to go over my build, I went for the Scouting Drone at 1. I liked it a lot. Uh, I don't think I needed the safeguard for myself, Trauma Trigger. At 4, I went for Bio Shield. Pretty good, but it doesn't... I thought it combines well with Preventative Care. Ah, uh, sorry. Intensive Care, which is the bonus healing over time if you heal the same target. Because both stimulate you to heal the same target there's uh, a reason why it isn't good though bio shield consumes more mana than not using bio shield because when you heal someone who's always damaged you expend a consistent amount of mana but when you heal someone that takes one damage every one second you use full mana but you don't nearly get the full healing value uh, when you heal someone that is full life and you give them bio shield, which is how it works, if they're full life they get a shield, then it doesn't cost mana. But because they are liable to take poke damage that slightly exceeds the shield from time to time, you should see bio shield as a mana consuming talent. Normally you would stop at 95 health, stop healing someone, switch, if that's how you want to do it, uh, because so they can regenerate the rest up themselves. Intensive care, same thing, it's a mana talent. Very literally so, because you're supposed to heal the same target and then the mana expenditure goes up, it's written in the talent. Both of those combined with the lack of mana return grenade at one, using my grenade not quite on cooldown but fairly often, made me out of mana too often. Uh, so there was things I liked and there was things I didn't like about the build. If you look at the 16, I liked it a lot. System Shock, 50% slow 4 seconds commander. is amazingly good. Uh, intensive Care should have rather been either Preventative Care or Spell Shield. Just in case I get hooked, gorged, or caught by someone, Spell Shield. Um, you know, Preventative Care is decent, but I don't think it achieves what it's supposed to, except in extreme situations. Because you're healing someone, and generally, Morales' healing target doesn't die. Couples therapy is nice, but again, it costs more mana. And you don't always need the healing, even if you are hurt. Because they may not actually have position on you. Spell Shield protects Morales in the most important way possible. Because when Morales takes burst damage is when she's most vulnerable. Her trait heals her up out of combat. So you don't need Couples therapy to double up with that. It's Spell Shield, which really covers that weakness. Oh, Stim Drone is good is because heavy. of uh, trading on the Immortal. Along. I see Stim Drone on BOE as an objective ability. Not for teamfight, but just if both teams are attacking the objective, to actually get it. Cleanse was 100% uh, needed. No argument there. Uh, the Immortal does stuns all the time. You can help for that. There was Polymorph, there was Hook, Gorge. Uh, so all of these uh, pretty important. Bio shield, somewhat debatable. I could have gone automated block and this could help quite a bit for defense. Infuse grenade, I don't think so. Bio shield, not bad though. We've got a triple front line. 
kind of, with Zarya. So I should be able to be safe to actually omit automated block and go for Bioshield. But if you're not sure, just get automated block. And then at level 20 I would have got Caduceus Reactor. Back in until I get a shield. 